Well, I've had a rough couple of weeks. Our fitting company has gone into receivership which is a massive problem for us because they do all the fitting, the assessment, kind of everything that deals with the customer is done through them. I've been away on holiday. I went with my other half for a month to Australia and New Zealand, which was fantastic. I had a busy period of work prior to going away, but the downside of freelancing is, although you have the flexibility to take a month off, coming back, if you're coming back to no work, it can be a bit daunting. So we've just really completed our first year from the first workshop, and we've had 61 workshops in that first year. When I set up, I'd set myself a target between five and 10. One of the interesting things is now we're getting bookings all over the country. Finding the right people to run the workshops is very important, so I always look for people who've got experience in their specialist area. Because you've done quite a bit, um... Directing. And then I kind of go with my gut instinct, I think. And so far, luckily, it's kind of been all right. Hi. Yes, it's Hannah here. I don't think the credit crunch will affect me too much. It will probably go in my favour. There are redundancies in the pharmaceutical industry. Um, they're more likely to, to favour freelance workers, so they don't have to think about sickness pay, holiday pay, all the other benefits and contributions. Cash flow, making sure the money is coming in regularly. As a sole trader, it's very difficult if you get treated in the same way as a large organisation, for example. To avoid that, I've developed a terms and conditions document. So ideally, I've put down 14 days payment period. That's looking quite optimistic because not all businesses will operate that way. It has made a difference, it has brought payments forward. At the moment the company that offered to kind of do the fitting while we look for someone else is actually um, interested in doing a full-time contract with us. Do you want to be in every council? Do you want to be, I mean, is it patented? Uh, it's you... patented. My dad's always involved very closely in the running of the business. He was there today to meet the new fitting company. Yeah, yeah I'm very impressed. Thank, Thank you. you. The same with my mum. My mum's very involved. She often goes to interviews with me. Ruth, an enterprising teenager. Publicity, like the radio interview I did today, is really crucial to this sort of marketplace because it's not just advertising in magazines. It's about getting the whole story across. It's about advertising on all fronts. As far as record keeping is concerned, I've become more organised. Um, I've invested in a filing cabinet, which I'm very proud of. Every month, at least, I have to sit down, make sure all my records are in place. This year, I didn't have to do a tax return because I wasn't a sole trader or I hadn't set up my business from tax year 2007 to 2008. Um, it didn't apply. A couple of weeks ago, I got a phone call from HMRC asking me how I was finding the new VAT, asking me about what sort of um, problems I might be having with tax returns, etc., which I found really useful. Yes. Obviously, at the top and bottom of the stairs, it's crucial it's folded out of the way or else it will block the stairs. We've got a really big show coming up at the NEC in Birmingham, which is called Nadex. We hope from the show to make some more contacts, preferably some more sales, and also just to let people know that we have withstood the year, that we are still strong within this economic climate. Where, are, where we want to go next is we're really kind of focusing our marketing strategy. I was speaking to someone and I was saying, oh, you know, we've done quite a few schools now. I wonder if that's how many, how many we're going to get. And he said, well, what percentage do you have of the market? And I said, well, and he said, you probably don't even have 1% yet, which shows you how much capacity there is. Yeah, I am obviously a little bit wary about the gaps between projects, particularly in view of the recession. I'm hoping that it does play well for freelancers, but it's a bit daunting because obviously I've got a, a big year ahead and I want to be able to prepare and provide for the new baby when it comes along.